I bought fake Russian vitamin C serum and it's almost ruined my face. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You are the realest MVP. So today I will be telling you about my acne journey, like the way I went from this to this. Yeah, we are still on the healing process, but I said I would record during this process because my skin is nothing like it used to be. And um, it is so, you know that moment when you're doing everything right, you're going, you're doing your normal routine, nothing is missing, you're having your night rest and still you're breaking out massively. That was the phase I went through. And um, if you want to hear how I cheated or I'm cheating it and how I got there to begin with, please keep on watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also hit on the notification bell to get notified each time we post amazing content like this. So let's get right into the So yeah, it all started when I got my, I went to restock, you know, my vitamin C serum Russian, the one that I, oh, I did a review on already i'll drop the link on this video right here so i went to restock and normally i buy this product for around 2500 there about so when i went to restock in this shop like because i left where i was so i went to another place i went to restock and then it was 1600 naira i was like oh it's really cheap here maybe it's an old stock or you know whatever but they are really affordable and i didn't smell any foul play you know and um i got it I actually got two because <laughs> i felt oh that it says still you know something you buy for two five and then you're buying it for 1600 so i felt it was a steal i got two bottles and then I went home i started using doing my routine the same way i was doing it initially when i the first day I, I used it i felt a sting on my face because i have a really sensitive face and everything just throws it off balance so i felt a sting on my face and some red patches on my face which cleared after let's say one hour after beating and applying that i felt okay maybe it's the weather or the water or anything i just didn't pay attention i could not i couldn't just imagine that it was the normal product i was using that was causing that on my face so i slept i woke up before you know it i started breaking out like breaking out seriously breaking out seriously that i could not even use my camera my phone camera anymore i didn't go out i didn't i couldn't do anything at all I, it's not like I was handicapped and I couldn't do anything. It's just that I, I was, I, my confidence just went from hundred to zero because I have not had that much. I am so sorry I couldn't take pictures. Like I just took pictures when I was already healing and all that. I wish, I wish, I wish I could. I, I took pictures then, but I would insert um a picture of when I was healing. So. I've never had such massive breakouts in my life before. So I was now, I was really worried. I was now like, ah, what's going on? This is the normal routine that I've been using and all that. What's, what am I missing? What is going wrong? So I had to like, I, although I still felt the, that burning, burning sensation each time I use that Russian vitamin C. So I had to like, I felt something just told me, can you just stop this maybe let's see how it goes so when i stopped it i noticed that the breakouts weren't coming out again like the ones that were already out were still out and some still left dark marks on my face but i found out that the breakouts were much again the break i wasn't breaking out again i was just dealing with already existing pimples on my face so i had to use um neutrogena Neutrogena facial wash and um, sunscreen. I also bought a sunscreen, you know, to help the whole process. Because I felt my um, Nivea moisturizer that has SPF 15 with the acne, and I was really dark, getting really dark on my face. And everything, I, I just felt that I wasn't doing much again. Maybe I needed a higher sunscreen. Of course, I knew I did, but I felt I could, you know, skip that part. And then I got a sunscreen 
yes i got a sunscreen i would insert the picture i would still do a review on all these products and um what i experienced or i'm experiencing while using it and i also had to change my body cream and everything like i just had to change everything because i was getting so dark and um i had to get jojoba oil for my skin to blend all my skin so i would do a review another review video on that so these are the products i bought i got new and then i started using this product to just help the process to help everything with the darkening of my face and all that i choose that nitrogena because it has salicylic acid i would have gone for CeraVe, but the store i went for i couldn't find CeraVe. Mm -hmm. so i just got um nitrogena for because of the salicylic acid it had the same percentage of salicylic acid with CeraVe, two percent salicylic acid so and it did the work you know it was really okay on me or it's still okay because i'm still using it and those acne has cleared i'm just dealing with the dark marks that some of it left now so i had to dispose the rochino this story is just to tell you that sometimes expensive cheap is not always good when i say cheap is not always good of course we all want to get things at affordable prices but i would have sensed that something was wrong when the russian i got for 2025 year about and now i'm getting it for one six almost half the price i would have sensed that something was wrong i i lost like i just during that period i don't want to do any video i don't even want to go out i don't want to go about my daily business i just want to be indoor until my face clears and there's no way it could be possible because man must work so i just had to like you know gear up and um deal with it and i'm still dealing with it i would still so when i started using the nivea i just came close so you can get a clear view of my face and how it looks like so when i started using the Nive, um sorry the nitrogena facial wash it was a deal breaker for me like the acne it started shrinking and disappearing it was more like a magic like if you if you're breaking out or if you have um acne i think salicylic acid is your best friend salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide but salicylic acid is good for mild um acne it is your best friend and you should also moisturize by using it because it can be a little bit it's an exfoliant so it can be really dry so it was a deal breaker for me i loved it and my skin loved it and um so, that was um, it i just did this video to tell you guys what i've been up to and also anyone that is going through an acne phase or struggling with facial pimples and all that i just want to tell you that you're not alone mm -hmm. and you guys are so strong you guys are the realest mvp just one breakout i wanted to have a mental breakdown so i just started imagining people that have been going through this phase probably all their lives because i have friends that ever since i know them they have acne on their faces and you know all that serious acne like cystic acne so you guys are really the realest mvp you're not alone and you all are so strong